All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a two gang, okay? Again, these are like my favorite type of box to install and work in. The reason is because, first of all, it's plastic, so metal boxes, sometimes you end up cutting your fingers when there's lo lots of different wires, you're trying to push in your wires. Um, and also when you, in when you screw it in, it's just a very strong box, all right? Two gangs do not need to be supported on two sides. When you have a three gang, which will be in our upcoming video, so again, a three gang is just three devices that can go in there, uh, you need to have another piece of wood uh, on the other side to support it. But this video is a two gang, okay? And so again, don't forget, I have um, a roughing in playlist here on YouTube for you guys. You can watch all the other videos. Also, I have a free book for you guys for apprentice electricians. If you guys sign up with your name and email at becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe, you can get my book absolutely free for apprentice electricians teaching you guys a bunch of tips that I wish I knew before I became a journeyman. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is right here, so S with a line through it is a switch, and in this case, if someone does that, that typically means a double gang goes there, okay? I'm not gonna put an X here, so there's gonna be no scab, but because we have a single gang uh, switch right beside it, okay, do not just go to top of box. In this case, you wanna be going to the screw hole, okay? That's very, very important, and I'll show you how to do that nice and quick in this video. So the first thing that we will do is I will just quickly measure uh, this single gang box to get our height. I think it was about 48 and a half to the top of the box. Okay, so 48 and a half. So I'll quickly just do that here. So we'll go uh, 48 and a half, and that will give us our starting point, okay? But we do wanna measure to the screw hole. So if I measure this to the screw hole, uh, it's about yeah, it's about 48 and a half. So this situation is a little bit tricky and I'll show you what I'm doing here, okay? So I have this, the, uh, the tape measure like this. I have the drill with a screw on it already and you put it between your legs, okay? Because if you wanna go to screw height, this is the trick, okay? Um, so I have my double gang that I'm bringing over and it was 48 and a half. So I'll bring that over, put it right here and I'm measuring 48 and a half. So right there, that's where I'm holding it, okay? So put the uh, tape measure in the pocket, hold it nice and tight. And because I already have the drill and the screw on, like uh, already on, now all you have to do is just put the screw in. So I just put it in the hole closest in the box there and it gives a nice, a nice tight hold. Now really in this situation, um, you probably want to measure that screw height again if this was a real install because you really want to make sure that the screw heights are the same. But again, I'm just going to uh, screw this in. Okay, so you can see right now that as the box is, it's pretty good, but it does have quite a bit of movement. Okay, so typically on site, we used to put four screws in to these two gangs. And when it comes to the screw, you do want to try to get it in nice and... Uh, nice and tight there because it can kind of bulge out for the drywall. Okay, so again, the camera's kind of looking like the boxes are kind of off angled, but again, I'm measuring right to the screw holes. Um, and sometimes it's nicer to measure to like these ones rather than the one that has like the, the, the metal bond. Uh, but I'm just gonna measure just to the top one. So the top one is 48 and a half. And then again, here as well, we have, um, it's 48 and a half and then less a 16th. So typically, you know, you'd want to make, in this case, I'd probably bring this one up because it's a little easier, less screws, and you just kind of bring it up a 16th. Because again, if this is the kitchen countertop where there is backsplash and grout, you know, they have their grout lines and everything, you can, you can see like even if it's a 16th off and stuff. So typically, like I said in the previous videos, a lot of times people just use the lasers that allows you to easily just mount your boxes, but they are expensive. Most people don't have them. Uh, so if this is a 16th off, I would probably just bump this one up just a little bit. You just take the screws out, move it up, and you're good to go. Okay, so that is how you install a two gang device box. So we have just a single switch, a two gang. You know, in the real world, they would probably just put, would have put um, a three gang right here, right? They probably would have put a three gang, but this is just, I'm just showing you just how to do it and giving you some real world examples at the same time. So this was a double gang or two gang, did not have a scab, 
This is a single gain. We just, have, we just have a single switch, and it had two X's, right, to show you about the scabs. Again, you can check out the previous videos in the playlist for that. All the information will be in the description. And then in our next video, we will quickly talk about how to install a three gang. It's the exact same way as the two gang, except what you do is you just put um, essentially a scab just in here. You literally just screw it in just on the other side, and that allows it so that when they drywall both sides of this wall, it sandwiches it together and you have a nice solid install. But you do not need to do that for a two gang. That only happens in a three gang, okay? So again, I'm just gonna do quick videos based off of each of these boxes nice and quick. Upcoming videos, we will actually start drilling holes. I'll give you some tips. You always wanna have your holes nice and level. And then we'll get into stapling, bringing the wires in, splicing, and installing devices. And you guys will learn all the kind of basics of roughing in and then we might as well just install the devices, which is in the finishing stage, but you can kind of get a better sense. So again, if you guys want to stay updated with the website to learn how to become an apprentice electrician here in Canada, check out the website by going to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe, and you can get my free book for apprentice electricians. Again, in the description below, you will be able to find this playlist, which is all about roughing in, and subscribe so that you guys do not miss a video. I'll talk to you in the next one.